I1 Profiler Data Analysis allows you to look at and compare printer measurement data. This can be from two different printing devices to show how closely they perform, or from different sheets throughout a print run, or day-to-day, -to, -day, to determine if your device is running within standards. In this example, we'll look at the behavior of a press in respect to an ISO printing standard to determine how closely our print matches the standard. To get started, select the Advanced Radio button. Under Device Selection, select CMYK Printer. Select Data Analysis. Drag and drop the data files you want to compare onto button A and button B. These datasets need to be like measurement files, in the same test chart layout. If you don't have an MFX file for the device you want to compare, Measure your output using the I1 Profiler Printer Profiling Workflow and then save your measurement data. Since we're comparing a press against an ISO standard, we'll select the measurement data from the press here and ISO standard here. Click on Comparison. The analysis criteria defines the parameters we'll use to compare the data. Delta E2000 is the most common, but other types of Delta E tolerancing are available in this list. The settings for Standard Observer and Illuminant default to North American preferred specifications. If needed, you can change them to the standards for your specification. In this image, the upper left corner represents the measurement from dataset 1, and the lower right is the measurement from dataset 2. Now, let's take a look at the left side of the screen to see the results. Under Delta E, you'll see the total difference for all of the patches between sample 1 and sample 2. This number tells you the average delta E, in this case 3.11. Looking at the 90% of our patches with the lowest delta E, that is the 1,455 patches in this image without boxes. Their measured delta E is 2.98. See the red and yellow boxes in this image? These colored boxes represent the patches with the highest delta E, which is noted as the highest 10%. The red box is the very highest delta E and the worst match of the bunch. That number is shown here as the max delta E of all patches, 7.5. Also, here under maximum results is the max delta E in the lowest 90%. That's looking at the best 90% of our patches. The highest delta E of the best 90% of the patches isn't that good, 3.73. Of course, your specific tolerance is what will determine how good these results actually are. To see specific delta E information, simply roll over each patch and look below. You'll also see this information on the report. This standard deviation section tells how far your measurements are deviating from the expected results. OK, let's generate a report. Give it a descriptive name and save it wherever you would like. When you open it, you'll see details on how closely these two printers are performing, the CMYK values that were printed, the lab values that were associated with both targets, and the delta E between the two, for each and every patch. The data generated from I1 Profiler data analysis can help ensure your prints are consistent over time, and between printers or presses. Use it as often as you'd like to help maintain quality control.